that's your behind the scenes. That's what you get. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know why Adobe has me here. This is why we can't have nice things. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and today I'm going to be animating something. I don't know what, but it's going to be a challenge, whatever it is. I've put two polls forward to the Twitch chat and today I'm working with the Adobe Twitch chat, which I'm really excited to be streaming on Adobe. If you want to join me for future streams with animation, whether it be tutorials or challenges, things like that, as well as the huge array of amazingly talented streamers on the Adobe Twitch channel, go follow Adobe on Twitch. Link is on the screen and in the description. So without further ado, I'm going to bring up the polls that I've pre-prepared the first poll being for content of the challenge. These were, of course, suggested by the Twitch chat. I didn't come up with all these amazing ideas myself. But the winner, and there can only be one, is a scared potato running from a peeler. The second poll, as you can see with the suggestions listed here, is a kind of challenge. So I'm going to be animating a potato running from a peeler. And my limitation challenge is going to be... Everything's chibi. Okay. How do you draw a chibi potato? And a... Chibi potato peeler. I am genuinely st stuck for how to do that. <laughs> Let's do this. I, uh, good, good lord. That being said, no undo uh, is equal. So I guess that means that they both win. Ladies and gentlemen, in today's animation challenge, I'm going to be animating a chibi potato running away from a chibi peeler, and I'm not going to be using Control Z. To make sure of this, I'm going into the keyboard shortcut settings. We'll call this preset. This keyboard preset is gonna be called what's done is done. I'm going to get rid of the undo option and the redo option, and I'm going to find eraser here. Okay. I have no access to the keyboard shortcuts of the eraser and the undo redo buttons. I never access those tools through the user interface. I always use the keyboard shortcuts, so that will keep me not using them. Once I've drawn something, this is, this is the rule. Once I've drawn something, it's drawn. <laughs> I'm so scared to start. Stop stalling. You're right. You are right. I am going to stop stalling. I'm going to draw the first frame of the pot potato. Ooh. Oh, no, I just... <laughs> I just pressed eraser. Nope, you don't get that. I accidentally just clicked on the stage and drew a dot. Um, I guess that's there now. Oh, this is awful. I really want to erase, <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> Does it look like a potato? I can't undo. Does that look chibi enough? Oh, that's awful. I'm going to draw his skin. He's been partially peeled. I want to select and delete this color so I can fill in that eyebrow, but I can't. Oh, and, I, and the eyes as well. I need to work around badly. All right, new tag swatch. White, normal. Outline, paint. Okay, okay. All right, we're in the clear. Oh no, I can't undo. Oh, I lost my shading. Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> That's not cheating, it's not erasing, and it's not undoing. All the Twitch people are saying I'm cheating, that is NOT CHEATING! Alright, this is our first frame of the potato. I feel like to compensate for the terrible drawing, I need to at least create some ambitious animation. I'm not going to do the colouring until the end. Let's keep this focusing on one thing at a time, and the first thing I'm going to focus on is the outlines. Oh! Oh no, I can't undo that! So, I painted... <laughs> the entirety of the mouth black. So I guess his mouth is open on that frame, whether I like it or not. That just drew the line really badly. What, 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 what is, what is that? Let's pretend that's his eyebrow. In fact, I'm going to use that. There you go. That's his eyebrow. <laughs> Some of these transitions are okay, like that's not bad. I'd like to refine it, but I can't. So this is what you get! We're making progress, I got the... Okay, the first few, do you know that it doesn't look too bad? That accidental mouth open thing? I think, I think I can make that work in my favor. Do you know what? I feel like this is going in a decent direction. I, my hopes are being lifted. Oh man, that, uh, that foot's very thin. I don't know, I'm gonna pretend that was a, an intentional artistic decision. Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if it's within the rules to allow me to draw over a mistake, particularly filling in a color. So I'm leaving it up to the Twitch chat because I, okay, good. All right, Twitch, Twitch have mercy on me when it comes to filling in and frame adjustment. That means I can do this. 
I accidentally filled in the whole thing black. But now, I fixed it to... I mean, it still looks not normal, but... <laughs> <laughs> but it's b better than just f full solid black. <laughs> this is such a floppy potato. Hashtag floppy potato. Please make that trending. The children and the children's children would forever pass on the legend of the floppy potato. That's a, <laughs> it's not bad. All right, cool. Let's move on to some color. Oh no, how do I get around that? All right, this is gonna take some creative engineering. All right, I color it all in the highlight color. I select the shadow color. Uh, it's gonna be messy. There we go. And now the eyes. Uh... Okay, back to your regularly scheduled floppy potato. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I hate it when this happens. Man, sloppy painting. Okay, now I'm gonna go do the whites. Oh no! Paint black. Oh, that's no better. I'm gonna have to surgically fix this one. <laughs> okay, that's what it is now. Oh boy. This is making me realize like how often I undo painting the wrong thing in. Like I, that happens to me all the time, but I just take the undo for granted. I will never take the undo for granted again. Oh no, I did it again! All right, let's put this on a loop. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh, you weren't ready. You weren't ready for this. The rules were no undos and no erases. And I also made myself the rule of no selections and deletions, um, but Manipulations was never specified and I don't think should be out. So I'm gonna tweak his run a bit. I want him to have more bounce. So I'm gonna pull him up and then let's give him some bounce. So as we hit the ground, let's squash him. Yeah, so he's got a lot, nice little bounce there. It's still a very awkward run. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move him off to the side for now. That potato took me an hour and a half, really? Wow. Now I'm gonna create the peeler and I have what I think is the perfect peeler design. Obviously my definition of chibi in this whole process is really askew. I have no idea how to draw anime stuff. <laughs> this is the front of the peeler. It's gonna be like the mouth. The top of the mouth is gonna be the bit like teeth. Uh, and then let's, let's give him a handle. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a frame that the head animates to, like a pose. Oh no, I can't undo, but I can manipulate. So rotate, perfect. The head's actually gonna be quite extremely back. I want it to look like a peeler throughout, so I'm not gonna change the proportions of the blade of the mouth too much, except in a couple of frames in the bite motion, I'm gonna have it like open wide and then snap shut. Ah. Ah, ah. <laughs> I like it. Let's let's really stretch this. Okay, middle frame. Okay, so now let's play this. It's like, okay, cool. Now I'm gonna do some in-betweens. I think even if I just do one in-between between each of these, I will, I'll ease into the stretch here. I actually don't wanna add a frame in between these. I think it should snap and then come back up. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's add some color. I want this to be, I want it to be red, like a nice threatening red. All right, we can see it's starting to come together. I'm, I'm enjoying this one. Uh, <laughs> so we have our peeler munch animation and that's gonna loop. So going back outside, now I need to animate the legs. This is gonna be a shorter run cycle. I'm gonna ha give him little gloved feet and I'm gonna animate it once and reuse it because I'm a cheap bastard. <laughs> I was pressing Control Z and I'm like, why is nothing happening? You'd think I would have adjusted to the notion by now. This is the blocking of my foot for running. Let's color this in. So I have my looped footsie animation. It's all sort of in place. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this is awesome. All right, I'm gonna a uh, few keyframes here, put them back here. I'm gonna tint these ones. Oh my goodness. All right, now wait, 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 wait. In context. Ah, that's awesome. Okay, okay. I feel like he needs a potato peel for a tongue. <laughs> This is so stupid! Alright, so we have a bit of a waggly potato skin tongue. It's got two sides because the other side of the potato skin is brown. Okay, alright, that's that's that done. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> this is potentially one of the best things I've ever made. Let's say, uh, let's select our circle here, our oval. I'm gonna select this, make the inside black 10% opacity and the outside black with 0% opacity. Now I can resize this and that is my shadow. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, my challenge was to animate Chibi Potato running from Peeler. I don't know how I went with the Chibi thing. I mean, realistically, I think I failed that bit. <laughs> but as far as animating a potato running from a Peeler with no undo, no eraser, and no selection and deletion, I feel like I did pretty well. And here it is, our potato. <laughs> Potato running from a peeler. <laughs> this is legitimately one of the best things I've ever made. I mean, come on. <laughs> You'll notice the subtle growth and shrinkage of the potato as he runs. <laughs> he's like, but, but let's pretend that's because he's gasping in air and you know, like it makes sense. Okay, whatever. Everyone, thank you so much for joining and watching whatever this is. Again, make sure to go check out Adobe's Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Adobe and follow there for more animation streams with me and awesome loads of varieties of other amazing streamers there all the time. So go check that out. That is it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me and and until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week. If you want to support my work and get some goodies for yourself, head over to my store for archives, ebooks, digital brushes, video courses, and more. If you enjoyed this video, here's a link to another video you might like from this channel. And if you want even more, make sure to check out all my behind the scenes action on my vlog channel, Daily Jazza. Draw with Jazza is proudly sponsored by Adobe. Join the creative cloud today and get loads of incredible creative tools like Photoshop, Animate, Premiere Pro, and other apps for your computer or mobile device. That's it for now. Thanks for joining the arty party and until next time, I'll see you later.